What's up everybody, it's Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and I was just thinking about this topic um, over the past basically a handful of months and I thought I'd put a short video together. You know, I don't often do or thus far I haven't done a lot of these kind of talking head videos talking about the philosophy of Everyday Tactical Vids or different things like that. Uh, I hope to do more of that in the future and get some experts and um, different people with uh, professional experience in various areas to, to share some knowledge and, and wisdom uh, with you as the Everyday Tactical Vids viewers. Uh, the thing I want to bring up is this, and uh, there's been a lot of comments on various videos, but the ones that have jumped out to me the most, and actually I get the most often as far as repetition, are tied around, uh, in particular, my car emergency survival bag. And the comments are usually about the topic of having a Bible in a survival bag. So. Let me just kind of lay the groundwork and I'll just give you a heads up. If you're going to make um, any kind of snide or nasty comments, I'm just going to delete them. It's just, it's not even about like, you know, do you believe the Bible or do you not? It's just about having a community where respect is expressed. And I want to, um, I want to give a shout out to some of the, uh, the atheists in the Everyday Tactical Vids community. Big thumbs up to the folks who have left comments that have been, been, been appropriate. They may disagree, but they're still respectful as they engage in the discussion. So here's the deal is that people leave comments on the, um, on the video about the car emergency survival bag and they say like, oh, you've got your Bible and now you've got Tinder, you can burn the pages or, you know, you're an idiot for having the Bible. You're, you're so stupid. Why do you do that? Here's what I'll say. You don't have to agree with it. Um, but level one is you don't have to be disrespectful. I mean, I'm not like deeply hurt because, you know, I, I for, you guys know I'm a full-time pastor. So I, unfortunately, I get to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I see people who hate Christianity and people who love Christianity. That's not even the main point. You know, level one is I would just encourage you to be respectful if you want to engage uh, in, the, in the, the conversation. And the deeper, the deeper um, I guess, topic would be this. It seems like there's a mix of people who don't get it and people who get it when it comes to why you would want to have something like a Bible in there. Now, I'm not going to go out and say that the Bible and the Quran and the Bhagavad Gita and the Book of Mormon are all the same thing. They're not. I mean, if you read through them, there's some huge uh, philosophical, theological differences. All right. So let's not say, oh, well, they're all the same. They're very different. However, the deeper level question that is, again, seems like some people get and some don't is that if the Bible, for me, helps bring mental stability and kind of emotional stability in a moment that can be really stressful and overwhelming, then it seems like some people get that, oh yeah, I understand why you would want to do that, so cool, good for you. Maybe think about, you know, on a broader level, what is something that I would have that I'd be able to read that would help to bring mental stability? You know, for, uh, for some people, it's a picture of their family, and I would add that in too as a great option for, you know, all right, I'm in a really tough situation, but I keep looking at a picture of my wife, my kids, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, and to go, that helps bring me stability as I'm thinking about, you know, getting through this situation. It gives me something to aim for. Because I'm a Christian, uh, and because I take my faith really seriously, having the Bible as something to reflect on and to, uh, you know, to read and to study while I'm in an intense situation, that's going to be a great option. Maybe for you, it's something else. Just, just be aware of that. I guess that's what I'm saying is that some people really railed hard on it, but I think you're missing, uh, if you're one of those people, you're missing maybe the deeper issue, which is what's something that could bring that psychological level of stability and peace when you're in a super intense situation. And again, this is not a video to like get into ranting about different religions and stuff. So um, if you want to have conversations about Christianity or Jesus, whatever it is, the Bible, shoot me a, a personal message, do it on Facebook, do it on YouTube, whatever. We can have those discussions. I generally find that in the big open forums of comments on YouTube, they're not super successful because people just go back and forth. And that's atheists and Christians. They just start going back and forth and it just doesn't get anywhere. Um, I find that it, uh, it creates more heat than light and that's not really helpful. So if you want to have a conversation, hey, shoot me a message. But again, the bigger takeaway I want to just throw out is the reason I have a Bible and my survival kit or survival kits is because of the emotional, spiritual, psychological peace and stability that brings in intense situations. So be thinking about that. What could that be for you? Maybe it is the Bible as you reflect on it. Maybe it's something else um, that could actually help you in those situations. So that's the reason, that's the bigger picture of why I actually have the Bible in my survival kit, my survival kits. All right. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. More reviews and information coming soon. Take care.